Hey guys, welcome back to AIR Reptile Rescue. Today we're going to talk about the proper handling and how often to handle your corn snake. Um, first we're going to talk about how to pick up your corn snake. Um, they're a little bit different from the ball pythons in a couple of different aspects, especially with handling. Um, whenever you're going to pick up your corn snake, they move pretty quickly and they're pretty active. So remember, whenever you're picking them up, make sure you have both hands to where you can control them and stuff like that and actually keep them from falling out of your hands. Uh, if they fall from a pretty good height, even if it's just the floor of their enclosure, they can injure themselves. They're smaller than ball pythons, so they have less body mass to protect them. Uh, this video is going to be short, guys. There's only a few things we want to talk about here. Uh, now that we've actually got you to pick up your corn snake, um, we're going to talk about how to properly hold them and handle them. Um, one of the things that I want to mention uh, is whenever you're handling them, like I said, they're very active. They want to move around a lot. Whenever you're handling them, try to keep one hand underneath the head uh, or under the upper part of their body, closer to their head. And as they're moving around, kind of just keep your hands moving with them so they have something to move on. Um, corn snakes like to hide. So if your corn snake starts to go up your sleeve or something like that, they're usually fine, but monitor them. Because if you're not watching them, wherever they go into your sleeve or into your shirt, and your shirt's untucked, like mine's tucked in right now, so if I had a corn snake and it wanted to go in, it wouldn't be able to fall out. But if you have your shirt untucked, they can, they'll can they start to get in there and you're thinking okay they're just gonna lay there they may not they may just keep on moving and then they'll get up top and they'll drop straight out of your shirt that will injure your snake pretty badly uh, so please keep that in mind whenever handling is always make sure you have some kind of control on that snake uh, they do move around a lot um, the last thing I'm gonna talk about on this one is returning your snake to the enclosure like I said, with them, they're very active, uh, so they do want to move a lot more. Whenever you're putting them back in, I've had this experience from personal uh, experience on this. Whenever you're putting them back in, just like I showed you with Patty, with how small she is, how I lay her down in her enclosure to where she doesn't just move real quick and fall out of my hand. Um, whenever you're putting them in, try to put them head first. I'd go for putting them in the hide or uh, on their tree or something to where they get comfortable because they love to be on trees, like their branches, or they love to be in their hides. Uh, so I'd go for the hide, really, because whenever they go down in their hide, they're going to feel like they're secure and they're going to want to stay. Um, but once you do that, once you get their head down and they start moving, monitor that because of the fact that corn snakes are escape artists. They move pretty quickly. <laughs> With, with Snowball, my corn snake that I had, whenever he didn't want to be put back in his enclosure, he would raise up and try to get out the top of the enclosure before I can get the lid back on. Uh, so always keep an eye on that uh, because if you're not moving quick enough or you're not monitoring that, you go to put that lid on, you can injure your snake uh, by trapping them between the lid and the enclosure. Uh, but whenever you're doing it, after you get that about halfway down their body, start to lay their back end down real gently on their substrate until your hand is completely from under them. Uh, that will help protect them from getting hurt, from falling out of your hands or anything like that. Um, but if you guys have any questions or comments, uh, leave them down below in the comment section or find us on Facebook at AIR Reptile Rescue. Uh, no question about any animal or reptile or amphibian is a dumb question. I had a gentleman just recently ask me a question. He said, hey, I've got a dumb question for you. And I was thinking that it was going to be something just like out of the blue. Honestly, it wasn't. He said, hey, I've got this reptile and I don't know this about it. And I told him to do this. Not a dumb question. So remember, any questions you ask me is not dumb. Um, I am here to help you guys learn. If I don't know the answers to it, I will research it. I'll give you the proper answer. Uh, most of my answers come from personal experience, so most of my experience is from personal handling and stuff like that. 
But remember, no question is a dumb question. So to the gentleman that asked me that and said it was a dumb question, buddy, your question was not dumb. You were just trying to learn and educate yourself better on how to care for your reptile. And I appreciate you for coming to me for that information. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe our channel. Uh, the more likes I get, the more YouTube is on notice. And they'll start putting my videos closer to the top for you guys to see it. Um, if you subscribe and you hit that bell notification, you click all. It will give you a notice whenever I post a new video, guys. So it will help you know whenever I have a new video coming out. Uh, as I mentioned in the previous video, I was going to do the king snakes next. I'm actually going to bump up my Pac-Man frogs. Um, I just recently purchased one, and I want to kind of educate you guys on that and show you my Pac-Man and kind of introduce you guys to our newest member. Uh, but we really appreciate y'all's support. Thank y'all so much uh, to all of my subscribers, all of my followers, all of my viewers. Uh, we love you guys for y'all's support. We appreciate it. And uh, y'all come back and check out the rest of our videos. And we'll be posting more soon. Bye, guys.